What's up guys, we are back with a staple workout and today we're going to be hitting the back. So, staple exercise is going to be here, it's going to be lat pullovers with a heavy dumbbell, 40 seconds of those. Then on the moderately heavy dumbbells for an exercise, then back to lat pullovers. Then on the light dumbbells, then back to lat pullovers, okay? You'll pick it up as you go. It's going to be 12 sets in total and we keep going back to those lat pullovers. So, let me hit the timer and let's get started. There's going to be 40 seconds of each exercise and 20 seconds transitional time in between. Lap pullovers, we get ourselves into a bridge on the bench, we take a diamond grip with the head of the dumbbell, keep the arms straight as we lower it back as far as we can, and we bring it through. Okay, keep that bridge strong. Breathe in as you lower it down, and breathe out as you bring it up. And really, with every set, with every rep, try and take it a little bit further. But make sure that bridge doesn't collapse. Keep those hips up to the ceiling. Keep the hips to the roof. for a high plank row and then climb. So we take our moderately heavy dumbbell, use a bench or a chair, we get up into the push-up position and from here we're just gonna row nice and slow without twisting those hips. Let's go. Okay, just pull up, hold, down nice and slow. And try not to lock out your arm and drop it down and you'll leave your posture. Squeeze it at the top. Lower it down nice and slow. Keep those hips nice and stable, try not to twist them. It's a little bit like a renegade row, but we know we're really trying to keep those hips in control here. And stop. Okay, don't worry, we'll get to the other side in a little minute. All right, now we go back to the lap pullovers. Dumbbell in hand. Three, two, one, let's go. No bend of the elbows, keep the arms nice and straight. Otherwise you'll turn it into a tricep extension. And this is all about the back, baby. Baby got back. Set number three, so after this we'll be a quarter of the way through the work, I know already. Beauty of it is guys, if you still got a little left in the tank, you can just wind the video back and do it all over again. But hopefully by the end of it you won't need to. And stop. Okay, so let's pop that down here. Exercise number four, we're gonna do sweeping rows, alright? So Sweeping rows are like this. We have the nails facing away from us, thumbs over the handles, tilt from the hips, keep the arms straight, and bring them back, nice and slow. Away we go. And be in control of them, don't just swing them up and drop them down, okay? Up, hold, back nice and controlled. But keep that back nice and flat from the back of your head, right down to your tailbone, should be a nice, Straight ski slope with no hills on the track. And stop, okay, it's exercise number four in the bag. Now we're back to the lap pullovers. Now, firstly, a third of the way there. Position. And away we go.
picked up. Okay, that's exercise. Set number five of 12 done. Now we're going back to the high plank row. This time we're gonna take the dumbbell in the right hand, face up with the part, in position, roll it up, back nice and slow. Let's go. Keep your core strong. A nice straight line from your head to your hips to your heels. Starting to shake like a sitting dog here, guys. It's a good sign, we're working. Not stop, okay. Let's see if we can get set number six. We are, yep, halfway there. Back to lap pullovers. That's exercise number seven. Now we're back to the light dumbbells. What we're going to do next is 90 degree rows. So I'll go head on for this so you can see. Knees hip width apart, hips over knees so don't sit back on the ankles. Shoulders over hands. We go up to right angle. Don't tuck the shoulder and bend the elbow in towards us. We go up to a right angle, keeping the elbow in line with the shoulder, and onto the other side. An awkward little maneuver here, but we come up to a right angle. We don't tuck it in. We don't try and hit the shoulder with the dumbbell, otherwise we've lost the exercise. Yeah, we'll stay up in line. We get under the red delts and the rhomboids. That's much tougher than it looks because we're really engaging the core here. And stop. Okay, so we see that's set number eight. Back the lap, pull over. And away we go. Up. Nine. Set number nine. So we're three quarters of the way there. Up next, we got Gorilla Rose. So this one, we take a similar stance, nice and wide of those legs. We get the dumbbells on the floor, keeping the back nice and flat. We row up, back down, and then to the other side. Let's go. So squat that butt nice and low, keeping that back flat. He's got to be wide enough apart that your elbow can fit right through there without hitting the leg. This is where you realize how tight your inner thighs really are when you get into this position. 
Okay, good stuff. That's exercise number 10. So we got two more. This is your last set of lap pullovers. And away we go. Keep that bridge nice and strong. Breathe out as you pull through. Oh, I saw these guys. I love this exercise. It's brilliant for tight shoulders as well. It pulls your tight muscles. Stretches them out. Frees up a lot of shoulder mobility, I find anyway. Finally, last exercise of the day, we're going to do front raise and pull. So hip width apart, bend over position, back nice and flat, raise up and pull them in towards you. Let's go. So we'll go up, make a Y and then squeeze back to a W. I'll keep that back as flat as you can. So try not to tilt yourself up, okay? Down nice and flat. Now keep your forearms in line with the back as much as you can. And stop. Okay guys, that's our staple workout back exercise is done for today hope you guys enjoyed it if you did hit subscribe hit notifications give us a like leave us a comment and i'll see you next time